Hi, my name is Dr. Susan A. Downway with Blue Ribbon ENT, and today we're going to talk about eustachian tube dysfunction. Well, first, what's a eustachian tube? Well, it's a narrow canal or narrow tube that connects the back of your nose with what's called the middle ear space. So it connects your nose with your ear. And what it does is it helps relieve pressure and drain any fluid and just keep your ears open. So what's eustachian tube dysfunction? Have you ever been in an airplane and you feel that pressure build up in your ear and then you chew some gum or you swallow and all of a sudden that pressure goes away? Well, imagine that happening when you're on ground. Well, that's eustachian tube dysfunction. People can feel pressure and popping and it just feels like the ears are muffled. Sometimes people even feel like the ears are underwater. What causes that? It's a number of things. You can see that with allergies or when people are sick, the eustachian tube is congested, it's inflamed. And because of that, it's not able to do its job. So how do we treat it? A number of things. We offer nasal sprays. Why a nasal spray? Well, like I said, the eustachian tube opens up in the back of the nose and it connects the nose to the ear. So a lot of times you can decongest the eustachian tube opening by using a nasal spray. The name of the game is really to bring the inflammation in the eustachian tube down. There are other ways to do that, such as steroid pills, such as decongestants like Sudafed. Um, in recent years, we've also started doing things like balloon dilation of the eustachian tube. Now, what does that do? Balloon dilation of the eustachian tube is we stick a balloon through your nose and we engage the opening of the eustachian tube at the back of the nose. It can be done awake, it can be done asleep. When we do that, we expand that balloon and then we allow it to retract and remove it. So it's not an implant, we take it out. But the goal is that that balloon dilation may actually get the eustachian tube to reset itself and to get rid of any congestive tissue that's causing eustachian tube dysfunction. We also do other procedures like ear tubes that can open up the ears a little bit and allow some pressure to be relieved. So if you are experiencing any of the things I talked about, come see me at Blue Ribbon ENT and I'll help you out.